The SFAI 2017-18 season began with the SFAI Skechers National Cup first and second rounds in September and October. Over 1,500 teams from across Ireland competed in their regions against local rivals for the chance to progress to the next round of the competition. The Under-15 and Under-16 SFAI Subway Championship also got underway in October and group games took place across the country featuring representative teams from 30 SFAI affiliated leagues. At the end of the month, the new SFAI Subway Plate was officially launched in Rackhill County, Dublin by former Republic of Ireland International Keith Andrews. The newly formatted competition, supported by Subway, offered teams more games and for some the chance to feature in national play finals. New format this year, I have to say, in terms of it, nobody being out of it straight away. There's, there's a pathway, a little bit like the Kennedy Cup in terms of the plate and the ball, etc. I think it makes it even more exciting this year. November began with a trip to Kerr Park in South Tipperary for the SFAI Subway clash against West Cork. The home side scoring late on to secure a vital point. While the highlight in November was the hugely successful SFAI Skechers Cup regional finals in Ulster. The chairman and SFAI executive committee members Martin Kiernan and Padraig Clark travelled to the finals across the region and spoke with many of those involved including players, managers and SFAI council member Charlie Shields. Well, we've had a great experience here and we wish the club uh, a good future. Okay, thanks very much. Sorry. I would like to thank John yeah. and Martin and Parik here for coming yeah. all the way from and be, being here today on a special day because yeah. it's great that the SFBI are represented. Thank you very much okay. for coming. Oh, no, thanks. Charlie, thanks. All right, thank you. Hold on. Yeah. In December, we travelled to the Cavan for the SFEI Skechers National Cup clash between Kings Court Harps and Johnstown and were treated to this cracking strike from Paddy Power, while we also caught up with Carlo, the DDSL, Wexford and Wicklow in the SFEI Subway Championship. The year was brought to a close when the chairman travelled to Oriel Park in late December for the DB Sports Champion of Champions competition which saw SFAI National Cup winners take on their northern counterparts. January began with the National Cups continuing across Ireland, including the clash between Temple Villa and Westport. Once you enter the, the National Round of 32, it's, it, it's harder, it's more difficult to win the overall thing, but um, look at we're, we're looking to retain the, the regional one first of all, and we're hoping to maybe go a step further than we did last year, get into the semi-final. While it was also a very busy month in the SFAI Subway Championship, with Munster finals featuring Cork, Waterford and Limerick District taking place in UL. January also saw the SFAI travel to Ross and Alice for their SFAI Sketchers National Cup round of 32 clash with Cordoff. As one of the smallest clubs in the competition, Ross and Alice emerged victorious and went on to reach their own regional final later in the year. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. That's what football is all about. It's about all this, about goals, penalties. What else could be asked for? We're in dreamland at the moment, being the last 32. The last 16 is totally dreamland for a club like something like this. It's 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 been brilliant, like you know. February was one of the busiest months of the 2017-18 season for the SFAI, with those involved attending no less than 17 games to provide strong online content and match reports for the weekly Subway page in the Irish Daily Star. The Under-12 and Under-13 SFAI Subway competition also kicked off in February, while the highlight of the month was the Under-15 and Under-16 SFAI Subway Championship and Play Finals in Mullingar. Cork and Sligo Leitrim celebrated wins in the championship competition. While well, Kenny and Mayo claimed the first ever national plate titles, with those involved praising the success of the competition. Absolutely, and I have to say it's been uh, it's great. I'm delighted the SFAI have decided to run the player, the shield, or the player here, because it gives uh, uh, teams like us a great chance. So thanks to everyone. I suppose the venue here. Do you know, last year we were in Kerr Park, which is a fantastic venue, but again, similarly, it's been done here. It's been a great day for us. So, thanks very much for yourselves and the SFAI for that. Good evening and uh, welcome to Skechers here on Henry Street. 
In a change to competition draw format, March saw the quarter-final draws for the SFEI Sketchers National Cup take place, and there was huge interest across the country with the draw receiving more than 10,000 views on Facebook. The SFEI New Balance Kennedy Cup draw was also broadcast live on Facebook in March, further demonstrating the association's appetite for creating more interest and communication around its competitions. Despite the poor weather in March causing delays and fixtures, a huge thanks must go to all who helped to rearrange games. And in April we were back to playing football, with ties in the SFEI Subway Championship and play and the SFEI Sketchers National Cup continuing. There were many highlights as the competitions reached their conclusion, with this superb strike from the DDSL's Jamie Murphy just one of many great goals scored. The month of May began with the SFEI lending its support to the DDSL as they celebrated their 75th anniversary with a stellar lineup of teams including Bayern Munich, Manchester United and Liverpool all travelling to Dublin. The bank holiday weekend was also very memorable for Longford, who earned a place in the under 30 and SFEI Subway Plate National Final with a win over Drogheda. All five SFEI Sketchers National Cup Finals also took place in May, with St Kevin's Boys taking home the Under-12 Cup when they beat Douglas Hall and Turner's Cross, the Under-13 Cup beating Merview in Galway, and the Under-14 title beating Cherry Orchard in Abbottstown. While Corinthian Boys clinched the Under-15 crown with a narrow win over St Kevin's, and League Slip United lifting the Under-16 Cup beating Douglas Hall in Cork. The following weekend, the SFAI travelled to several SFAI Sketchers Cup regional finals, including the clash between Mullingar Athletic and Ross and Alice on Saturday morning. On behalf of the league, I'd like to thank firstly Clara for the use of their facilities. Uh, I'd like to thank the referees and linesmen, and I'd very much like to thank the lads for coming down from the SFAI. Then it was quickly back to Mullingar Athletic for the under 12 and under 13 SFAI Subway play finals, which featured West Waterford East Cork, Athlone, Longford, and Cavan Monaghan. Athlone claimed the under 12 title with a 2 0 victory, while Cavan Monaghan won the under 13 play when they overcame Longford. The introduction of the play again proved hugely successful, with those involved all praising the new format. Fantastic. It's been fantastic. Like we've we had five group games, then five knockout games as well, so it's been brilliant. It's been a brilliant experience all year with a great bunch of kids. The following day was the turn of the SFAI Subway Championship to take centre stage and Mayo recorded a famous win over the DDSL in the Under-12 final. With a late goal that sparked huge celebrations. While it was the DDSL who came out on top against a strong cork side in the under 13 showpiece toy, which was full of quality and some great goals. The following weekend saw the second running of the Subway Island of Ireland Challenge Cup take place in Newell. And it was one to remember for Cavan Monaghan, who overcame the DDSL to claim the under 13 prize. While others including Cork, the Midlands, Longford, Mayo and Sligo Leitrim all also competed, having earned their place via the SFAI Subway Championship and Play competitions. With the season reaching its climax in June, there was still the matter of some SFAI Sketchers regional finals to be played, and the SFAI made the trip to Connacht for games in Westport, with those involved emphasising the importance of the regional cups for clubs up and down the country. And there's a huge added attraction here for rural areas as well, for competitions like that, this come out into this area. And we can't put into words what this man has done as chairman of the SFI in the last few years. I've worked with him, we've talked about it, and to spread the word out there among the development of football in our communities, and to bring games like this and competitions out into, into our communities is a huge plus. And it's all down to the dedication, the commitment of the SFAI. From there, all roads led to Limerick for the SFAI New Balance Kennedy Cup 2018. And with the official launch having taken place a couple of weeks prior, all that was left to do was play football. <laughs> the 
the highlight of the year for many, 640 players representing 32 league teams and 255 clubs from across Ireland took to the field to show their talent. This year saw the competition reach more than three quarters of a million people on social media and huge thanks must go to Paul Rick Clark for his work. With 10 games streamed live and 56 ties covered in total, the introduction of KennedyCup.ie further increased the tournament's presence online, while the addition of the big screen also proved to be very successful. After four days of superb football, Friday was finals day, with Galway claiming the trophy, the NDSL clinching the shield, Kilkenny winning the ball and Cork taking home the play. Attention then switched to the SFAI New Balance Kennedy Cup final between the DDSL and Kildare and it was the latter that struck first, scoring early on, before the Dubliners equalised. They then added a second and a third goal before the KDUL struck a superb second to make it 3-2. But the DDSL were not to be denied their 32nd Kennedy Cup and scored again to seal the win. DDSL and SFAI legend Fran Ray was in attendance to celebrate the victory. And the final moments were left to him to savour as one of his favourite songs brought the SFAI 2017-18 season to a close.